Hello, welcome to R&B Reviews. I'm Rob. I'm Brendan. And today we're going to look at the new science fiction film, District 9. Brendan, what are uh, your thoughts on that? District 9, um, let me just throw my verdict out there right now. I want to say see it. You know, not, Let's not keep the viewers guessing. My vote is to say see it. I know we say see it on a lot of our reviews. I like this way more than anything else we've reviewed since we've had this channel. This is a really cool movie. They marketed it perfectly. You didn't know too much about the movie. I didn't know too much about going to the movie, so I wasn't sure on my expectations. Yeah. And it just blew me away on almost yeah. every front. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll probably give it C it too, but it sounds like you liked the movie a little more than I did. I'm, And like you said, I didn't know what to expect. I, didn't know, I don't remember seeing any trailers for this movie, so when you said, let's go watch District 9 and do a review, and I'm like, well, wh well what's, what's District 9? And, um, and I walked in there completely on had no idea what was going on and I, I ended up liking it and it it's a sign it's definitely a think a little bit of a thinker science fiction film there's a lot of metaphors which I liked a lot uh, the movie is about almost done like this documentary style about this group of aliens that end up over earth and they end up moving on there and then they get their own area and it kind of reminded me of uh, the issue of illegal immigration and capitalism so I didn't know if you caught that in the movie or not. It's a very deep movie and that's, that's something about science fiction I think people look at it on the surface and you know science fiction it can be very deep at times and this yeah. is one movie that goes very deep but it doesn't try to force those views on mm -hmm. you because at the same time you're just enjoying the ride that, that is District 9. There's a lot more I want to say I don't want to use the word action in terms of like action movie, but the action sequences in this movie are great. All the aliens, technology, and biotechnology is really cool. I mean, the director, writers of this movie really created an entire universe that you completely believed. And I really liked seeing South Africa for a change in a movie. Yeah, yeah that's where it's at, set in Johannesburg, South Africa. Yeah. yeah, and they actually filmed it in real slums, and it gives this movie very realistic depiction and they even mention in the movie you know, like these aliens didn't land over New York or Chicago or mm -hmm. Washington DC and it, it makes for an interesting movie as well as having a bunch of no-name actors no one we've seen anywhere a first-time director and um, everyone just knocked on the park and the guy I don't know what his name is I'll put it at the bottom of the screen who plays the main character Wickus who mm -hmm. you follow throughout the movie is a great character but he's not he's not predictable and he's, he's very human yeah. I mean, he does things out of his own greed, and you kind of find yourself in the first half hour of the movie being like, this guy's kind of slimy. I mean, he's likable, but he does things in his job that you're kind of like, you're not morally agreeing with, but he's a great character. Yeah. Maybe I'd put him up there even with, uh, maybe time will tell, but with like Alan Ripley of the Alien movies. I mean, he's a really cool character, and I, I hope they bring him back in some sort of sequel. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call this an action movie either. It's definitely science fiction uh, because, you know, science fiction usually has those messages, whether it be Star Trek, the motion picture from 1979, which deals with the message of finding who you are, or Dune, where, you know, it talks about the environment and greed. Um, and this, yeah, this one definitely is, it's not really an action movie. If you're walking in there thinking it's going to be like Independence Day or Alien vs. Predator where there's this big show between a group of humans and a race of aliens, you know, that's, that's not really what this is at all. At least not for the first hour. The first hour is definitely... It's more, more character. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely more of like a, a survival movie almost as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, my quips with this movie was, um, I don't know if you would call him the, vid uh, the villain, but... Um, uh, Wickus's um, father-in-law is his boss, and he seemed to me too much like a stereotypical villain. Like, there's this scene where he's like, he's lying to people, and he's pouring drinks in there, and I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> is that the best you can do with that, you know? In our Hurt Locker review, I mentioned that that, that, was, that movie was also shot in a documentary style, and I complained about the shaky cam here. They do the documentary shaky cam here, but luckily this time, they don't overdo it, and I didn't get motion sickness, and, you know, it just... It, and it went much better here. I think it carried off much well uh, in this film. My, another quip I have with this, apparently you mentioned that this was in the trailer. There's this machine that, to me, it felt like it came out of the Terminator or uh, Transformers or Iron Man, and I thought that was that, that this machine was completely unnecessary, and I felt like they were just cashing in on it. I, I, didn't, I didn't feel that way. I kind of felt... Um at the part in the movie where you see this machine in full effect, it was just sort of building upon what alien technology you had seen. I mean, all the alien weapons in this movie are really cool, and they, they are a little reminiscent of weapons if you've used if you've played video games before. And that's what it was reminding me of. It was just like almost like 
video game universe kind of weapons being used on show soldiers and like Nigerian black market guys. Because yeah. this movie, when I was watching it, it reminded me of the review I posted for Terminator Salvation. Apparently, um, I wrote while well, I uh, said that I thought that the characters in that film were cardboard and it, and, and that there was no story and the special and the special effects were carrying it. I remember. Um, people com giving me comments back on that, but when I watch this movie, I mean, it does have great special effects, but it doesn't carry the film. You know, it's part of the film. You know, and the characters are more interesting, yeah. and the, the the actors are and the characters are not cardboard, except for the villain. But it it these felt like real people, right down to the the gun runners and um, the bleeding characters and his wife and all that. So even the, even the aliens themselves, you know, they didn't seem stereotypical and you completely if there's anyone you completely sympathize with in that movie it's the aliens yeah i mean so the humans are just yeah, yeah i mean i really found myself the only time the only characters i was really fully committed to in that movie was the aliens yeah. i mean you really ended up caring for them you know what's weird today um i was thinking back it seemed like a long time ago we did our review for the first summer blockbuster wolverine and interestingly all the big ones came out early in that season and now we're nearing the end and it seems like these more creative independent n uh, movies with you know with no big name actors are coming out and I think there's much hurt, better quality yeah, films. like 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 Hurt Locker 500 Days of Summer and now District 9 you know I think it's a complete I think it's very interesting how all the big movies came out earlier this year like Star Trek and Wolverine and now we're getting these more creative more interesting independent films and and this is definitely more refreshing films I would definitely say yeah yeah our last few reviews we've been lucky enough to see movies that are a breath of fresh air and our original and District 9 is definitely up there and the reason we're not throwing out too much of a plot synopsis is we both kind of went in there a little blind with this movie and it makes for a much better viewing experience. Yeah. I mean it's almost like they made the trailer from the first 20 minutes of yeah. the movie. Yeah and one more thing that I didn't like about it like there's this scene where they're trying to um, convince the aliens to evacuate that sequence just went on way too long. I, th I got the idea right away and it kept dragging on and on and I'm like come on will you just Move on to something else. We got it already. I got I can, it. I, I can see what you're saying. They did kind of go from shack to shack and seeing, you know, what was happening. But I really liked it because that whole sequence of the movie was done from like this MN, MNU camera guy, um, sort of like reference video guy following them around. And I really liked seeing things from that perspective. It almost it was a little. I don't want to use the word Blair Witch, but kind of like that, where you're seeing it from a camera person's perspective and like. You get people swatting the camera down and being like, "Cut that out!" And yeah, yeah, I really like that touch. It felt yeah, like yeah. There's a part where he's like, place. "Yeah, there's a part where Wickers is like, here's a picture of my wife.' Oh, you're not gonna put that in the movie, are you? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like those touches. So, yeah. you're giving this movie a see it. I'm giving this movie a see it more than any other movie we've seen this summer. Okay, I'm giving it a see it too. I didn't quite like it as much as you did, but I'm giving definitely giving it, it a see it. It's definitely good. So. All right, if you want to leave any feedback or you have seen the movie and you want to post your thoughts on what you thought of District 9, please go ahead and do that. And uh, please subscribe if you like what you saw. I'm Rob. I'm Brendan. And thank you for watching.